Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Soul 2. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Let's go save ourselves a princess, huh? Sounds like a good idea. So, uh, besides going and saving the princess, and yes, this entire map is going to be spotted with a bunch of random crap, we can also go to the Royal Coliseum in order to do some sort of timed attack, uh, slay them all sort of thing. And if we do that, we get rewarded for stuff. Yay! But, let's go to the Goblin Fort first. Whisper, whisper. Oh, really? Hey, I heard something. Um, that was just my stomach. Oh, I'm starving too. Hey, about that rumor. I still think that rumor about the envoy is false. If they really do know about our plan, then... What? They know about our plan to raid the castle. What? I heard something again. I didn't even move that time. It wasn't me this time, I swear. Has the time come? My axe thirsts for blood. But I didn't hear anything. Maybe it's just the wind. Nah, it was totally just me, guys. Don't mind me. I'm here to slay you both. Wow, those purple guys actually have a lot of HP this time. Well, I guess it is just their kind of way of, you know, showing... Oh, hey, BT dubs. Can't just go hacking in. So, yeah, this is pretty much the general layout. As far as I know, these dungeons are not procedurally generated. They're not random. They are just the dungeons. Hmm. That's a, oh god, they're coming out of the well. I kind of like the idea of not having a charged attack to my weapon, but then again, I know that's going to get things a lot more tedious later on. Really? Nothing in that chest. Keep in mind, that guy did ask for three goblin cards too, so... I need to look out for goblin cards. Bust open that door. Oh god, kabolds. That's actually pretty... Yeah, what I expect kabolds to be doing. Kind of weird to death that they're not the Japanese kind of bolds. Japanese kabolds are based more off of dogs for some reason. I don't know. Gonna have to look into that. Oh god, trolls. Eh, eh. Wow, this guy actually takes a lot of damage. Yeah. I guess that was the sound of... Oh! Or a calcum, okay. Or a halcum. Or whatever. I guess it's called or a calcum. Eh. You know, this is not so bad so far. Of course, then again, I said that during the first game, so... Who knows, maybe when I don't level up my dexterity a shite ton, then it becomes absolute and complete crap. Hello. And uh, there's a shrine over here too. You know what? Oh, level up. I'll bust down this shrine while I'm at it. Ow. Oh. I was hoping for something. Let's see. Let's do three points in strength this time. One in dexterity. Yeah, sounds good. And then we'll go straight up armor up for now. That's efficiency. Should nearly screw that up. Actually. If I do sword, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna go armor up for now because armor is good. And I want that treasure. Oh, oh god! Actually, doing damage. Man, they are not dropping anything this time around, are they? Come on, die! Oh, there. Spoke, spoke too soon. A scale? A cotton robe? Okay, so the scale is one of the other items that you can use for fusion. Used to make heat resistance items. Paste. Jelly like organism. Weak to physical attacks. I should freaking hope it is. So let's equip that cotton robe instead. Seeing as it's got a better defense and everything. Eh. 
I wonder if the charge attack for the sword is, or the axe is the same as the sword. That's not what I meant to ask. I kind of like the idea of the sword right now simply because it's got a wider angle, I guess. I don't know, let's try the axe. Yeah, axe does seem to have the same general area of attack. I don't know. Let's go for sword just because it is different from the last time I played. Was that, uh, was that me speaking just perfectly? That is a 10 point increase in damage. Requires sword level 1. Okay, so everything is shown on the one screen now. Record a sword level 1. Increases my strength. Do I need to... In oh, I need sword level 1. Okay, so this is something I screwed up on when it came to the first game. Uh, there is some equipment I just couldn't actually equip because I was not skilled enough with the weapon itself. You need a certain skill level in order to wield it. So... Here's hoping that these goblins and kobolds and whatnot are actually going to give me enough experience to level up at least one more time. Also, I want that. How do I get to that? Carefully. Oof. Eh, eh, eh. I kind of like how there's now glancing blows. Oof, that did not heal me for a lot. I do like how there's now glancing blows, where you see that yellow damage, where I did only two. Oh, healing water noise. So, is this, oh, hello. Go away, goblin, bastard. I believe I'm going to do what I did previously, in that I will, oh, hand axe, Damn. I will, um, I will also be, doing a separate, you know, grinding-ish sort of thing. Oh, so the girl has been taken to. Oi, can't you talk a little louder? A captain, what if someone hears us? Well, that could be a disaster. Captain Gully, we're ready for them. Everything is going as planned, but I'm worried. Worried about? Oh, never mind. Is the girl ready to be sacrificed? She's been transported to the Mistress Wazari's palace. So that much is done. In that case... Captain Gully, what are your orders? Commence the attack, but stay alert. Stay alert? We received word from the guards. We have intruders. It, it can't be. Someone got past the guards? Why are we being attacked? Do they know we've kidnapped the princess? No one knows that she's been taken from the castle. But the king is no fool. He may suspect something. <sighs> Captain Gully. Could there be a traitor? Shut your mouth, newbie. Are you doubting us? Hey, you two. Calm down. Yes, yeah, settle down. The captain's right. There's no way this fort will fall. By the way, what, what did you do with the prison key? Put it back on the shelf, right? Um, yes, it's on the second shelf next to the eraser. Inside the bag of candy. Oh, here it is. Ugh, it's all sticky. Clean it off. Anyways, Captain, if the king is distracted... Then this may be a good time to attack the castle. Okay, goblins, we need a plan. Write down your ideas. Yes, sir. We'll write them down immediately, sir. Goblins are silly. <laughs> I'm gonna murder them now. Starting with this Captain Golly guy. Oh, found the prison key. I accidentally used a healing item. Aha, level up. Hmm. 
they seem to be glitched in just such a fashion that I could probably get the sword skill up just, just so. Yeah, let's go with dexterity this time. And let's equip that new sword. The blade. The battle blade of power does lightning damage. Oh yeah, that's, that's significantly better damage. We lost. Our entire unit was defeated. Colonel Dobovich, please forgive me. We also got a prison key. Don't know where it goes to yet. Hello. Mm, let's try it this way first. Yeah. I wonder if these things would be resistant or uh, more damage to lightning. You would think the latter would make more sense. Anything up here? Nope. Doesn't seem to be anything in this one house over yonder, but... Surprise! Trolls! I'm actually swinging surprisingly fast. Wait, is that a grenade? That, that was a grenade. Also, a red shoe. Fashionable shoe. Just, just wanted to point that there because I know that people will be like, Okay, where's the red shoe? You get it from this crate. And more than likely, from now on, I'm going to be looking up what, uh, what side quests are where. Because <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, dude, that confused him. So I might as well check out how the sword works. Oh, okay. It's like a forward lunge kind of thing. Does it a nice arc, too. Very nice. But, again, it does use up SP. So... If you want to be the ultimate in the, uh, using that thing, I think it, I think it gained back SP just, I don't know, sporadically, it feels like. So this is definitely a good way to just, you know, what and hit everyone out at once for a good battle swing to get in there. Oh, another angel wing. Sweet. Vest. Even sweeter. So what's the vest do? Uh, five more defense. Yes, please. Oh, before I forget, because I know I'm going to forget, let's set up the grenade. Pretty sure the grenade works just as the angel wing does when you want to go to throw it. Like, you hold down the B button and, you know, that throws it. Yeah. I think whenever they do the exclamation mark over their heads, that's when they are taking a critical hit. Don't quote me on that, though. Ah, boxes. Plenty of boxes. Let's deal with this well first, though. Nice. But yeah, I am going to be uh, doing what I did before, and I will play through this level again before I go into the next level, because I don't want to be a little weakling. Gotta do them grindings. Oh, was the prison key actually the key to that? Good question. And yes, I could go forward. Just do what I usually... But I want this chest. How was I supposed to get this chest? There we go. Ah, uh, I was hoping for another piece of, like, Oracalcum or something. But, this shield increases my defense by another five, so... Yeah. Alright, red arrow. I think the red arrow means boss time. So you're here. You are the cause of all this trouble. But you're just a little twerp. It's not very nice. You have the audacity to challenge me to a fight. You must be joking. Aren't your legs trembling? Aren't you terrified? Well, it's too late. I'll teach you the meaning of the word pain. Funny, I do have audacity, but I use it to record uh, my voice while let's play, so. So he does that. Well, he spins like a moron. Which makes him also vulnerable. Eh. 
pretty much it's just uh, going in for whenever he's open. It's actually significantly easier than the boss, than the first level boss, uh, the first game. You just need to know when you need to, ow, mark your distances, for example. You know what? Bake that grenade. That's actually a pretty good grenade to us. Ooh, okay. That actually did not do as much damage as I thought I was going to do that time. Possibly because I am equipped with a shield and shit. Yeah, he gets winded after he does that, so that's a good time for a strike. And then, of course, he gets dizzy and falls over after he does this. I don't know why he doesn't stop doing it the first time beyond just battle mechanics. And if you're a little ballsy, you can just go in there for a few stabs. Well, like I said, gotta be ballsy to do it. And as far as I know, you still cannot use angel wings when you go to go into a boss fight. So, yeah, just gotta run around, run around, run around until he decides to do his spin move. Erg, impressive. The girl has been moved to Wazari's palace. Wazari senses imbalance between light and dark. To retain her power, she will sacrifice the girl. Captain Gully has the prison key. Nope, I have it. You'll need it in Wazari's palace. Goodbye, brave one. Yay! Blah, 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 blah. And of course, Golden Chest has a spear. One I'm probably not going to use. Ah, Darius, you've returned. You made it through the fort safely. Excellent. Hmm. So they were planning an attack. Rosari has Camille, that evil witch. He totally wanted to say something different. The only way to her palace is through the graveyard. I hate asking you this right after you've returned, but could you go straight to the giant's graveyard? Please, save my daughter Darius, I beg of you. Why don't we just bring back Deathheart, tell him to do the thing, because he's clearly more qualified than I am. Just saying, he's a general. And I'm a ad random adventurer that you... Yeah, whatever. Alright. So, oh that's neat. So it tells you uh, the improved stats that you have here, but when you go to click it, it shows you the stats that you have at base, which is... Noise. Yeah. Alright. So since we actually have a shield this time, why don't we up increase my shield? This seems like I'm, you know, dividing my skills and whatnot thin at the moment. But honestly, with how much bigger that this game is compared to the other one, I think we should be able to at least max out one skill while at the same time getting a couple of other ones at least decently high up. I don't know. I've never actually beaten this game, but you know, it's just one of those things where you'll look at it compared to the context of the other game and it's like, oh hey, that's a thing. Speaking of what are things, there's that little girl over here that had a missing red shoe. You should fix that. Hmm, where did my other red shoe go? Can't go outside like this. You found it! Thanks! Here's a blue shoe as a reward. We, we got a blue shoe. It's pretty expensive, you know. Really? How expensive are we talking? Last year's model shoe. Of course. She gave me an old... Old shoe. Old enough to the point where it's like, eh. Well, you're still as busty as the previous game. Let's see, 34, 84. I could have sworn that there was a special way to figure out what skills do, or not what skills, but what, uh, what price a thing would be to show that it's worth selling or something. Let me see. I think it was that you actually had to go in to show it. No. Though I could sell, sell the Oracle or Halcom as a word I am never going to be used to saying. Damn it. Alright. So, by expensive value. Okay, that is an expensive shoe. 
why people would spend that much money on a shoe, I will never know. Hmm, could sell the pastes one for only eight or ten gold pieces, but eh, that seems unwise. Really? The scale is only worth six? And such a travesty. Oh yeah, is this a different character from when they had, from uh, last time I think? Oh, and this time you don't start with like five tabs worth of things to, worth of shelves rather I guess, to buy and sell shit. You actually have to buy another shelf in order to afford it, or to get more space. I can't word. So, I'm going to store away the blue shoe until I look up if there's anything else to do with this shoe. Because if there's something else I can do with the shoe, I'll just use it there. But until then, I shall keep it in storage. If not, then I will simply sell it for 500 gold. So, a hand axe of skill, which increases my dexterity by 4, is nice. Short spear of fire. That's about it. It's a plus one short spear. Of course, axes do the most damage in this game, but eh. Again, we're we're trying out swords. Swords this time. Maybe we'll all get two-handed swords. Ooh, big swords. I have a thing for big swords, Sumi. Hmm. Javelin. Light spear of will. Yeah, nothing useful there. Anything here? Uh, bracers. Cotton gloves. Cotton gloves of skill. Yeah, no, nothing all that useful. Like, even my... My vest is better than freaking leather gloves. It's kind of weird to me. Though we could get a hat. I'd honestly prefer to get the beret, if anything, simply because of its, you know, higher stats. <sighs> Who knows, maybe this, maybe I'll be able to get myself some really spanking cool gear this time. Oh wait, that's right, I wanted to buy a couple of herbs. Wait, that, that's a watermelon. Recovers HP by 50. W and it's just one, just 50 goddamn experience. Mm, it's 50 experience more, or 50 gold more than a healing drop. That makes no sense to me. But, so here's the thing. Uh, we could bring five herbs to that one dude to get more healing drops, right? And five herbs is worth 20, so that's 100. So it's... Really not that big, big of a deal to go and get some healing drops. Honestly, if you just find healing drops, that'd be one thing. I probably should have just tucked away all my money, huh? Yeah, well. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. When we return, uh, we got to go through a graveyard. I actually got to talk to this person to take some rest. We're going to go through a graveyard. Uh, so... I kind of got back into the mood of playing the Shining Soul series, be, Shining Soul games, anyways, because uh, a fellow Let's Player of mine, Jimalus, I will leave a link to in the description to his YouTube channel, uh, is playing through one of my other Shining Soul, Shining series games that I've never actually finished as a kid because I was stupid and impatient called Shining in the Darkness, and he's currently doing a playthrough of it right now. He's only just started, so, you know, yeah, <laughs> be a little easy on the guy. In any case, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm so far enjoying the game. Mm, fingers crossed it's as good as this until the end. And if you want to check out more of a dungeon crawler RPG version, of the Shining series games, check out Gemalis' channel. He's currently playing through Shining in the Darkness. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.